much better. Let me give you another heads up. Look at this. This is a bad situation over a period of time. You have these lower cars like this. This is a standard height for this thing, but you're constantly leaning over like this. How is that on your back? It hurts. It's uh, bad. It's, yeah. When you're young, no problem. You get 30, 35, 40, then you start having the back trouble. What you do is you're going to be in a bay and you're going to have your own lift. So what do you do? Just lift, lift it up. Lift the car up so you're working out. Legs down. Straight up. Mm -hmm. How's your back now? Straight. That'll keep you healthy for a long time. I'm 61 and I have no back troubles and I've worked on my own cars my whole life. Mm. All I did is I used common sense. You know what I mean? So this is what you do. You lift the car up. Make sense? Yep. Okay. So what I'm going to have you do is I want you to start looking at things and see there's that round cap. You don't can touch take it. Cool it. Here's the one you can take loose. But I don't want you doing this right yeah, now. Over there. What I just it's just small. Yeah. So what I want you to do is I want you to identify things in here and I want you to tell me their condition. I'll make a circle and I'll come back. We have our belts to look at, our hoses. We look at even air conditioning oil hoses. Thing right here. That's yeah. your oil dipstick. And then there's your oil fill. And I'll let you guys pick out the rest. And I want to show you something. I'll, I'll be back in a moment. You see this pipe right here? It comes off the air filter and it goes through this and it goes through this little diaphragm right here. What this does is, is it allows this diaphragm to vibrate and it puts a sound inside the car to make it rumble more inside. Oh. All it is is a noise generator. Really? <laughs> yeah. It's like, so, it's like a, so it's like a speaker kind yeah. of thing. That's all that thing does. They wanted to change the tone in the car and give it a lot more of a ring ring sound inside the car. Ah, uh, to make it look we're like... We're going to start it and you can uh. hear it. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, baby. All right. So, coolant, windshield washer fluid, a reservoir, engine uh, oil. oil fill. This uh, the engine. Oil dipstick. Oil dipstick. Where the one over here? Dipstick at? The antifreeze one. Yeah. Wait, power steering, nah, the, uh, power the steering power fluid's steering. over there. Oh, this one? Power steering? Okay. That one is a uh, brake. Just the brake fluid. It's the power steering. Yeah. Where's the brake fluid? This, this one's the brake. Yeah. So uh, when you step on the brakes when you're doing maintenance, this will actually fill up itself. Just so this, this little is side the note. One he was talking about, right? Yeah. No. Nah, this is. Don't open this one. one. You, you open that. Because if you open this, this will spray out. So what is that? Okay. It's the same thing. It just go from the radiator. That's the radiator. This is the coolant tank. Yeah. This the coolant tank. This one's just, that's the intercooler. That's just an intercooler. So what is, this is a reserve, right? That's a coolant. Oh, yeah, that's, there's two tanks. Yeah. It's usually probably underneath. But some cars don't even have a transmission dipstick anymore. Oh, so but, we don't. On this one, we don't got no one. So we don't got to find one on this one. Yeah. yeah, there is no transmission dipstick. It's a stick shift. Only automatics have a transmission mm -hmm. dipstick. This is stick? Mine. Yeah, this one's a stick shift. All of them are stick shift. Yeah, all the Subarus in here are all yeah, right. stick shift. Yeah. Oh, it's auto. So automatic is the only one that has the dipstick yeah, on it. The transmission dipstick. Yeah. Because the automatic has more maintenance to it. The stick shift, you don't, it's pretty straightforward. So uh -huh. If it doesn't have a stick, yeah, a stick for the transmission. If it doesn't have a dipstick for the transmission, it's it's, it's um that I don't have an answer to. You you there's a dip hole and you would you would yeah, a dip hole. And see if it, yeah. That's what you would use. It's like somewhere like on the side on the very bottom. You yeah. Oh, so it's underneath the engine, not it's not one up. Yeah, because the transmission is right behind. Yeah, the transmission is right literally just right behind the engine on this kind of, on a rear wheel drive car kind of thing there's your alternator um, this is where the intake is then there's an the air filter here the battery's right there what is this? that's like an inter it's an intercooler because this car is turbocharged so it's supposed to help cool down the yeah. turbo or so a supercharger yeah see Watch out, watch out, watch out. See, this hole, right, this hole right here would go to the intercooler to cool down that turbocharger or supercharger. No. 
I mean, some is that, yeah, but. That's right, you're looking for the oil dipstick right here. Check some oil, man. So what's the grit that he was talking about, though? It's just basically, it's. I mean, yeah. this is a new car. It's not gonna have grit. Mm -hmm. It's a. It's sad. This is a 2015 model year. Yeah, your car would only have grit if you don't do good on the oil changes or if it's a lot oh. of miles and old. Yeah. So when he mean by grit, it's like, like, like clumpy, right? Yeah, like clumpy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Exactly. Like it feels like there's little pieces of like sand, particles like and shit, like little rocks mm -hmm. or something. You can feel a little bit of roughness, basically. Yeah, I probably should wait for that one. He's checking the oil, by the way. No, I'm actually checking the winkle fluid. I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> so, you, this, so the, this, is, this is the boxer engine. So all the pistons is going this way, side to side. So, normally on a, on a regular car, um, Let's is say this was a straight four cylinder. No, spark plugs will be up oh, here. This is just the reservoir. Yeah. But what matters is like in this yeah. kind of car, since the pistons are going this way, this spark plugs stuff. are like on the side, so it's going to be really hard to get through. But Subaru did a boxer engine uh, for a reason, though, because yep. to lower the center of gravity and stuff like that. That was one of the main reasons why. If you don't know what you're doing. Porsches also uh, do because the boxer, the, the flat engine yeah, style too. So Subaru's not the only one that does that. The more dense air, basically. And Ferrari actually did one of this before. That's why that's because the air's going in. That I don't know because I'm not much of a Subaru person, but I do. Actually, no, the Subaru BRZs are are boxer engines. Really? If I threw an intercooler on there, I probably get forty. Yeah, FRS, okay. And I can do that, but I haven't done it. But yeah, most of the, but <laughs> all I know, the only, the only Subarus that I know that has the box range is usually the Impreza's. Uh, it's cool the way it is. So yeah. So what are you trying to look for, anyways? So what are you trying to look for? Just the cool one. Yeah. Super yeah. Yeah. What color is that? Green. Can't tell. Checking the cooler. Well, that's full. So we're gonna get the red this shit up, huh? Yeah. Hell yeah. There's nothing in there. <laughs> oh, the tank's down there. That's why. Where? Ah, I see. And let T get under the car, right? Yeah, that's just the washer. You'll see them in, in blue, by the way. And that's what dot three back there. Dot three brake fluid. It's a type of brake fluid, guys. Oh, it has the filter. Yeah, it got a filter in there. Yep, yeah, it, it, like it looks like it's almost. It looks like it's pretty much full, though. It should be halfway, yeah. Yeah, it's almost. Yeah.